I'm Francesca and welcome back to Law of Attraction Changed My Life. Today I want to talk about the KonMari method which is a Japanese minimalist lifestyle movement that is taking Instagram by its storm, at least it is for me because I'm hashtag searching it. The principle of the KonMari method is that lots of us aren't living life to its full potential because we're so busy and bogged down by all of the items that we have around us. For some reason, since probably the beginning of the year when I travelled to Australia, or maybe it was like my 30th birthday, I'm not sure, I've had like an overwhelming desire to get rid of stuff. Like I kind of want to have less possessions and it's a really weird feeling that's taken over me but I'm going with it. Um, and so when I discovered this Comrie method um, and that people were so so into it and were getting rid of loads of their stuff, you basically get rid of 80% of your belongings. Um, it just really sparked my interest and I thought that I would share it with you guys because I think it's kind of, it's good for law of attraction, it's good for um, living a healthy positive lifestyle. So there are three questions you need to ask yourself when doing the Comrie method. Number one is, the first question is, why can't I keep my home tidy? The answer for me is, um, okay, so I'm Francesca and I am a shopaholic, I admit it, I am totally a shopaholic. Um, I buy way more than I should and I also buy way more than I get rid of. I'm quite a big clearer out or I love getting rid of stuff like my mum says I'm so ruthless but that's just because she's a hoarder. Um, so I'm not a hoarder that's the thing I'm totally not but the problem is is I always buy more than I get rid of. So years and years ago I was dating a footballer and he earned about 30 or 40 grand a week and he had a gambling habit and he never had any money. And someone said to me at the time, they're like, do you know what, it doesn't matter how much you earn, if you always spend more than you earn, you will never ever be rich. And I think that's what's happening with me now. Like, it doesn't matter how much I purge and how much I get rid of, if I am, um, what's the word, if I'm, if I'm always buying more than I get rid of, I'm always gonna live a cluttered life. And I really don't want to, because I hate clutter. Um, I'm also doing this for my husband because he's like not, he's not the tidiest but he doesn't really have that much stuff and it must be so frustrating living with someone like me that will go shopping and literally I fill my car up with stuff and I'll bring it home it's like a car load and I do that regularly that I have to fit into my house and it's such a waste of money. Um, anyway, off track. So the second question you ask yourself is why did I pick up this book or search this KonMari method? The reason for me is because recently I've been feeling very, very anxious and very, very overwhelmed is probably the right word um, by the sheer amount of stuff that I own. Um, I feel very overwhelmed by it and I kind of feel like at least one day a week is dedicated to... I know it's because we live in two different places but like moving things from place to place and having a big tidy up because things have accumulated and just sorting my wardrobe out. Like, so much of my time is spent on that when it could be spent on going to yoga classes, doing more filming, um, learning photography that I really want to do, like doing more crafts, all of these things. That's the thing. The Comrie method is really designed to like totally enrich your life and actually get you doing the things you really want to do. Um, anyway, yes, that's, that's my, my answer. <laughs> And the third and final question is, what is your ideal home stroke life? Um, so my ideal home is somewhere that people feel really, really comfortable. I love to be surrounded by books and plants. See this beautiful plant here? Um, so I don't see those really as clutter. I love living, breathing plants in my environment and I love books. Um, but I definitely want a home that feels clear and calm and relaxed and also my lifestyle, I basically, I want to have more time to do the things that I love. I feel like I'm being held back mentally because of the stuff around me. Isn't that crazy? Like, do you feel like that too? Or is it just me? Like, I feel anxious when I have so much stuff around me. Um, and I want to get rid of that and leave me to focus on me and doing my photography and doing my filming and doing all these things that I want to do. I feel like we're all conditioned so much to be consumers, like a huge amount. And 
we are. We've fallen into it. We are consumers and it's ruining our lives. <laughs> So I won't go into all of the details of the KonMari method because you can actually listen to the entire audiobook right here on YouTube. If you just Google the art of tidying up KonMari, it will come up with the audiobook and it is amazing. It will change your life. Um, my goal here really is just to direct you to it um, and also just show you how it's changed my life as well. Like I have already started the process. Um, and I'm aiming to get rid of at least 60% of my belongings. Um, I'll be giving most of them to charity and I'm really, really happy about that. The reason I think the KonMari method is great for people that believe in the law of attraction is because she believes that items have not feelings, but like frequencies for sure. And, you know, energies. And she says that if things are cluttered into a wardrobe or shoved in places and not used, that that's actually a bad energy to have in your house. So if you have loads of shoes that you don't wear, actually they're not fulfilling their purpose and they need to go on to their next life. You need to thank them for their part in your life and let them free to be part of someone else's life. If you're giving things to charity, just be so grateful that you are able to give people clothing and shoes that, you know, someone might go to a charity shop and it hasn't got much money and see something you've put there and be like, oh my God, I love this so, so much. And what an amazing, karmic experience to do that hey um the other reason that i think that this is really good for people that are into the law of attraction is because um are any of you into feng shui i really want to get more into it um i listened to a podcast all about it the other week and i was loving it um, i think that your home really is supposed to be your sanctuary and it really reflects how you live your life um, and if you're not happy in your home because there's stuff everywhere and you when you're at home you constantly feel like oh, I shouldn't be sitting down, I really should be sorting out that pile of stuff over there, or I should be sorting this out, that out, whatever. That's not going to lead you to live your most fulfilled life. So if you are starting on your law of attraction journey, or whether you've been doing it for years, I urge you now to start the Comrie Method and get your life and your home in order. I guarantee you it will advance your law of attraction practices hugely. It will accelerate them. You will be getting to your goals quicker, you will be more productive, you'll be happier. Trust me on this one, I'm so, so passionate about this. Can you tell, can you tell? Um, loads of people have been putting up videos of their KonMari methods in their house, um, like before and afters of all their shit tip piles. Um, if you're into that, let me know, because I'll be more than happy to film my progress and my journey of my um, sorting out my apartment and also my house. So if you want to see that, just comment down below and let me know. If you don't, cool, whatever. Just let me know either way and then I won't bother filming it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I know that today wasn't strictly law of attraction based, um, but I really want this channel to be all about alternative um, health, alternative lifestyle, positivity, making life fucking good, you know? And I really feel like this is something that can help us all. So, from one shopaholic hoarder to another, go forth, listen to the audiobook, and clear out your life. You can thank me later. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I'm at Law of Attraction Changed My Life. Um, or my personal one is at Francesca Amber. I love to hear from you guys when you say that you love the videos and it's really helped you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all those comments. It's really, really nice, honestly. Anyway, do come back next week because I upload every single Friday. So subscribe and then you'll never miss one. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.